Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the new releases from Dixie Plates. These are the Spring Number no. 1 and the Botanicals Number no. 1. They are available to order now. Um, as always, Dixie Plates sells out super fast. I think there's still some in store at the moment, but I will leave links down below for all you guys. You've got Sarah Richardson, who is the UK distributor. You have got Kate Dix, who ships worldwide and you have got also an American distributor and I think there's a Canadian distributor now as well but I will leave the links in the description box below thank you so much Kate for sending me these plates out I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys saying that my description boxes are only sometimes half loading um, and you're not getting all the links because I draft my videos so much and upload them to private and then re-upload them I think it's just taken a while for YouTube to save the latest additions to the description box so just keep refreshing it um, and hopefully within a day or so you should have all the links there. For all of you guys out there that are struggling with stamping um, it is really hard to crack stamping. My stamping workshops I'm hoping that they're going to be released by next weekend by the end of February. If you're interested in coming along to a stamping workshop please give me a message on here on my Facebook, my Instagram, wherever you can so find. Let's take a closer look at these plates the first one, the big one, the spring one, I'm super excited to use this. These images look absolutely beautiful. If you guys aren't familiar with layered stamping, layered stamping is my jam. I love layered stamping. So the other plate, the botanical ones, this is all outlines of floral images and it looks super lovely. The gel that I'm going to be using today as my background is Cat's Got the Cream from Magpie Beauty. This is one of my most popular with my clients. And the stamping polishes I'm going to be using, I'm using a few today. I'm using two from Moji London. I'm using the white and the pink. Do they have names? No, they don't. And these aren't actually from Moju UK. These are Moju USA, which is from Amazon. I will leave links down below. Um, and I'm also going to be using the Barry M liquid nail paint in bright lights. You can get this in Superdrug, you can also get this online. It will be linked down below as well. So, let's get into the designs. Starting off with the pink, I'm going to show you guys the butterfly first. So, I put the polish on the plate, picked up the first image and placed that onto the nail. Then I went in with the gold and this is the first layering step. Now you must be using a clear stamper for this so that you can see where you're placing it. Um, you can't do this with a normal stamper or if you do it's going to be very difficult. So definitely try and use a clear stamper. As you can see it is a vital part of the process. So all these images picked up absolutely beautifully and layered um, really nicely. I love how this one came out. This is definitely the easiest layered plate I have used, but as I said to you guys, if you're looking for stamping workshops, then give me a shout. Um, I know a lot of other educators in the UK as well, Anona and June and Sophie are all offering stamping workshops as well, and I'll leave their links in the description box below too, if you guys are about in the UK. So the next design, the hibiscus flowers, I went in with the pink and outlined in gold and then here I'm just picking up the centres of the flowers at the top of the plate and just stamping them um, onto that nail just to highlight it a bit more. Next up I went for a kind of water marble design, just placing the colours on the plate there, scraping them down, just scraping once though because then you can run into a bit of bother with marble, it gets a bit too messy. Um, love how these ones came out, full design, stamped really nicely, really easy, first time, no problem. Next one, again, I did a bit of water marbling and picked that one up with no problems at all, stamped absolutely beautifully and then highlighted again using the little details at the top of the plate. The next design was the Little Moth. This stamped absolutely perfectly as well. Um, I started with the white on this one, then went in with the pink. Wasn't so sold on the colour combinations that I did with this one. Might try 
um, something different next time and this is where I mess things up a wee bit with the gold as you can see here I've just over stamped it um, and missed slight sections totally my fault not the plate Finally, we move on to the flower. This is a um, more advanced design because you've got that big area, but as you can see, picked up beautifully, went in with the pink, then the white, and then the gold, and created a beautiful little rose. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little demonstration. I love both of these plates. They are brilliant to stamp with. Definitely recommend getting your hands on them if you can. And give me a shout if you guys would like to attend any stamping workshops or any other workshops that I'm holding and I will get you some further details. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.